Hey guys, it's Kane. I'm back to tell you about my continued adventures with Fixed Magazine Systems. Um, if any of you guys were wondering uh, where I was on my YouTube hiatus, um, I just didn't feel like making videos. This particular blaster here is a pump action crossbow or a pack, uh, but what I'm really here to talk about is the dart door and fixed magazine system I have here. This magazine system, uh, among other things, is really easy to load, and that was one of my goals with it. Um, you, of course, have to open the breech, uh, but then you just stuff darts in through here. It's a little bit awkward uh, just because of the way I'm holding it so that you can see it, but it's really not hard to mash darts in there. It's not. If you get them lined up in your hand, it's not very difficult to actually grab two at once and just mash them both in there at the same time. And the breech mechanism works fairly reliably because even if this doesn't return to exactly the right spot, it still locates the dart exactly where it needs to be. So these are Quintana 4 and 5, and neither of these were successful or interesting enough to get their own videos, but I'm still going to talk a little bit about them. Version 4 is mostly a sad ABS story. I tried to make this one big printed part for simplicity, uh, and as you can see I gave it mounting holes on the sides for it to be sandwiched between two plates. However, at the time that I made this, my printer was not enclosed, and that, combined with the excessive size of the print, made things go south. The fifth version was sort of a reaction against this, where I tried to minimize all of the printed parts to make them faster and easier to print. And as you can see, the whole thing's a lot less bulky than it was before, and also it's broken into two main components, the receiver on top and the actual magazine on the bottom. As you can see, I didn't have any major 3D printing problems uh, with making this. However, I do think I went a little bit too far in terms of miniaturization, particularly with the dart door. Uh, it's mainly a travel issue where when the dart door uh, gets too far out of position, the magnet isn't really retaining it anymore and it uh, just kind of floats freely. Uh, obviously, when there's a stop to it, it's not as bad. Uh, but I felt like I didn't have enough leeway and I wanted to make this bigger for the next version. The other big problem is, as you can see, I just have a bamboo screw hot glued on here and that's what keeps the dart door from, well, the other side, you can see, it does that. Uh, this is obviously bad, this uh, lets darts out of your magazine. The other big lesson that I learned from this was basically an ergonomic thing. I found that although I could push darts in with this as is, I really felt like my finger was just hitting hard on that edge there. And so, in future versions, including the 6, although I'll show it to you on the 7, there's actually a cutout here, which makes the process much more comfortable. This uh, version 6 Cantana uses a small nub on the dart door and these small nubs here to limit the travel of the dart door. And so I can only push it so far in either direction, and it's not really far enough for the magazine to just spray all of its darts out. The big difference between this and later versions, which I do recommend more uh, on my Thingiverse, uh, Cantana's version 7 and 8, um, is that these little nubs of plastic, um, well, they're just little nubs of plastic on 3D printed parts. Uh, the orientation is subject to delamination. Uh, so, the short story is, this is not a very robust way of limiting the dart door travel, and there's a very strong risk that one of these plastic knobs is just going to break off, and it's, I don't think there's really going to be a good way to fix that. So this is the seventh Cantana, and uh, you should be able to tell it's dramatically more robust and harder to break than the sixth version. Uh, if you're going to build your own, I would suggest this or the Cantana 8, which is basically the same thing with a slightly different hole pattern. The dart door is not retained by tiny plastic nubs, but by this whole surface here and on the other side here. So there's really no way for that to break off. Um, these two separately printed parts 
uh, have screws going through most of it, so that all is sort of steel reinforced. Unfortunately, I discovered a big problem with this sort of fixed magazine system in combination with most spring-powered designs. Bow arms are springs as far as we're concerned here. Um, and that is when you're loading it, uh, you open the breech uh, by doing half a priming cycle so that you have your pump grip or your pull handle if the blaster were oriented a little bit differently in the rear position and you stuff your darts in here. And the problem is the power system again without doing anything unusual in how that's connected to the breech um, is ready to fire in this position and when you fire it it's going to close the breech rather quickly. For my personal use, I am just making sure I hold my hand here while I'm loading so that if the trigger accidentally gets pressed, um, I've got my hand ready to stop this priming grip and thus the breech pin from flying forward and doing so I can protect any fingers that I have in here. Uh, but that's not really a behavior I can expect of everyone who picks up this blaster and even of myself, uh, eventually I'm going to forget to do this and I'm probably going to close this breach on my finger and it's going to ruin my day. However, it's not a risk I want to take for other people that I might just hand this blaster to so that they can use it for the day. Uh, to give you a dramatic demonstration of what this breach can do if you have one of your appendages in there, uh, I'm going to stick my wiener inside the breach and pull the trigger. So, let's get this past the dart door. Well, it kind of stays in there by itself. And pull the trigger. Now, um, not surprisingly, the wiener uh, flew out of the breach. Um, and as you can see, uh, this wiener is missing a piece. Uh, you know, for a guy who just wants to eat a wiener, this amount missing is not a big deal. It's still mostly there. Uh, but if this uh, was your finger or some other part of your body and it were missing that much, I think you would be very upset about it. Now, of course, a finger has a bone, and fingers have skin, and they're generally tougher than a hot dog, so they're probably not going to have a chunk taken out of it like this. Uh, but I don't think you're going to get away without, you know, having a bruised and probably bloody finger. Uh, the amount of force that your finger is going to experience with the breech closing on it is exactly the same as whatever spring force you have on your blaster. If nothing else, uh, this situation seems bad enough to me that I'm not willing to stick my finger or any part of my body inside the breech to test it. Safety issues aside, uh, spring-powered blasters really are the sort of blaster you want to have a magazine system on, uh, and that's, no, that's not any different for my uh, fixed magazine ambitions. And it's worth noting that, you know, get great power, great efficiency, great rate of fire uh, out of this system uh, so long as you can avoid chopping your finger off with it. So uh, one of my next big goals with this uh, system is to have a dart loading gate of sorts that you have to open uh, before you put darts in and the hope is that I can make that gate uh, linked up to uh, the priming mechanism in a way that prevents the blaster from being fired uh, while that door is open. So, as long as you're loading darts, because you have to have the door open to load darts, you can't fire, you can't close the breech on your finger. Unfortunately, with the loading gate system that I'm hoping to implement, I don't think I'm going to be able to let this be something that you can just slap on a blaster like this. It's just going to be its own blaster design, and it's not really going to be a modular system that you can put on other blasters. And just to be clear, this has all the same features as the earlier fixed magazine systems with regard to loading one dart uh, when you cycle the breech once, but also 
uh, being able to load multiple darts for a shotgun effect just by repeating the priming motion. Alright guys, that's all for now with regards to the King Tana version 6 and Fix Magazine systems in general. Uh, like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, if you're not, you know, I, I tried.